Are you looking for a budget motherboard, especially one with a Z170 chipset on it? Well, stick around, because Gigabyte might have the one for you, especially if you're looking for two graphics cards. Stick around. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So I'd just like to remind everyone before we start that this board isn't designed to impress you, it's designed to be used. Now, I'm not saying that's bad, or that it's a bad board, it's not, it's, it's pretty good, but it's just not, you know, it's one of the more valuable boards in the market. Now, in terms of what's in the box, you get a couple of manuals, the uh, case badge, the SAT, uh, four SATA cables, SLI bridge, IO shield, the easy connector for the front panel headers, and some, uh, you know, a door hanger and some leaflets for the game they've partnered with. Now, the uh, chipset itself has some pretty awesome features, obviously, with a fairly nice heatsink on top, but one of those features is the Turbo B Clock. Um, that just means that you, if you want to overclock the i5 or i7 that you have with this board, you still can do, even on one of the more value boards, which is really nice. Now, in terms of the audio, you still do get that amp up audio with the split PCB with the uh, orange LEDs in the back as well and the super niche con capacitor, so that's all nice. Obviously, a very nice audio experience in general, um, and it's just you know a nice thing to have on even such a sort of value end board, which is which is really cool. Now, in terms of all the connectors on the bottom, there's just a plethora down here. You've got you know things like the trusted partner module connectors, USB, LPT, com. Um, there's uh, two USB 3 connectors on the uh, right hand side and to me that says that this board is going to be used as a more OEM board that will turn up in sort of like pre-made PCs and stuff like that but uh, still nonetheless you do get uh, three SATA express ports uh, or connectors on the side which totals for six standard SATA uh, or obviously the three SATA express. Now bear in mind that if you do want to find out more information about the Z170 chipset or the Gigabyte range or things like SATA express check out the interview we did with Gigabyte, uh, there'll be a link in the uh, description. Now, also something to point out is that this is still a DDR4 motherboard, which I think is really cool and means that the sort of longevity of this board is is pretty uh, is a little bit extended as well. Um, you also get the 32 gigabyte per second M uh, gigabit per second sorry M.2 slot, which is really nice as well. Now the rear IO isn't empty either. You get two USB 2 ports, uh, you know PST combo port, VGA, DVI. Um, you also get the USB 3.1 Type C, which is cool as well, so standard USB 3.1, HDMI, USB 3, uh, Gigabit Ethernet, and 7.1 audio, which is obviously really cool as well. Now we're going to be testing this with Corsair Vengeance LPX, that's an 8 gigabyte kit, and the i7 6700K. Uh, sorry. Um, now obviously it's a nice board, and really there isn't too much to show or talk about it. I just want to talk real quick um, and show you the LEDs lit up, which actually looks really awesome. And obviously the glow from uh, onto the case from the back of the motherboard looks really cool. I've taken a few pictures of that, so feel free to check out the written review for those pictures. But I did want to mention this board is actually a slim board. It doesn't fit over the standard ATX, you know, the standard three wide. It fits. It's technically M80X, but it's too long to be uh, to fit in an M80X case. So that's just something to be aware of. Uh, if you do buy the board, you may have a bit of trouble, for example, getting the 24-pin uh, in and out, as uh, it can can bend quite a lot. Now, in terms of who's going to buy this board, personally, I think it's someone who's you know looking for a great value board. It still has all the features that you uh, you'd look for, you know, USB 3.1, uh, a little bit of overclocking, SLI capable, um, even SATA Express, maybe. You know, all those sort of things uh, are still here on this board, which is really nice. But it doesn't have any sort of uh, gimmicky or uh, you know even just generally flashy features. As I said at the start, it's not meant to impress you, but it does do the job well. So. The actual board itself, um, there's nothing really, as I said, wrong with it. And in terms of sort of pros and cons, obviously, is it's it's got all the all the features you're looking for, like uh, SLI. And I imagine if someone did buy this board specifically, it'd be you know someone who'd probably buy this board and, and build a system around it, and then maybe throw uh, with the expectation of throwing a graphics card in later, which is fair enough. And obviously, if you did want to extend the li uh, lifetime, obviously with DDR4 uh, available, it means you can upgrade your RAM at a later date without, you know, breaking the bank because DDR3 will rise in price eventually. So, as I said, it is cheap. It's got USB 3.1 Type-C, Turbo B clock, and SLI support. Um, the only cons that I can genuinely pick out is that it just doesn't look great. As I said, it, it's not meant to impress. It's meant to be put in a box and 
kind of left there, uh, which is, as I said, fair enough. And obviously, that's that's the target market. It's just not something that we're sort of used to, uh, you know, looking at. In terms of value for money, it's going to get a four, just because in comparison to Z97 at the time of reviewing, um, Z97 is a much better value proposition. Uh, but as I said, that's just at this point. In terms of performance, it's going to get a five because um, most motherboards are the same now. Functionality is going to get a four because you have everything there. It's just not as sort of nicely packaged, as I said, uh, and that's why uh, Stout is going to be a 3, because obviously the brown PCB and, and being a slim board as well can be a bit annoying. But overall, te uh, Tech Team GB score is going to be a 4, because it is a good board, and if you're looking for a, you know, a value motherboard, this is definitely something that you should check out. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions about this board or if you want to see us review any other ones, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And if you have any questions in general, as I said, just leave them in the comments down below. Now, uh, yeah, other than that, please hit the like button if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, but leave us a comment, as I said, let us know. And other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Hit, don't forget to check out the written review, um, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video. Uh, you've probably heard enough of me already, so I'm going to finish off by saying please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a hell of a lot, and it means just the world to us in general. Please do feel free to check out some of our recent videos both down below. Um, they're uh, more recent ones and they're certainly awesome. Uh, feel free to click my face for the website and click all the links over there for our Amazon affiliate uh, link, our social media and also our YouTube channel as well. Other than that, as I said, please subscribe, like, share, favourite and all the other many things possible and we'll see you all in the next video.